within the teaching of ESL throughout the world, there's a whole spectrum of the types of groups that you may be involved in. And it's worth us breaking those types of groups down to have a look at some of the more specific things that we need to do when we're teaching those groups. So we'll have five classifications, first of all. Our first classification might be the beginner. Secondly, we'll have a look at teaching individuals throughout the world. This is a very large area of ESL, what we often call one-to-one -one teaching. Our third category is going to be what we might call young learners, or the teaching of children. Another category is that of English for specific or special purposes, and perhaps the biggest group here may be the business English group. And finally, our final category is going to be based on the groups of monolingual or multilingual classes. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll take a look at each of those categories and see what particular things we specifically need to do for teaching those special groups.